Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about the effects of adding wheel spacers on load transfer to a Subaru BRZ. And if you haven't yet checked out my video on wheel spacers, I would highly recommend watching that before you watch this because there's a lot of background information there. And in that video I promised that I would make a real world example explaining of what the effects of uh, changing the track on a vehicle would be by using wheel spacers. And so this is that example. So the idea behind this is that if you add wheel spacers to a vehicle, you increase the track. By increasing the track, you reduce load transfer under cornering, and by reducing load transfer under cornering, you have more even loading on your tires and thus have more grip. So, let's do an example. We're gonna be adding one inch spacers or 25 millimeter spacers to a Subaru BRZ. I chose this vehicle because they had all the information I needed available. So the weight of the car, 2,764 pounds or about 1,254 kilograms. The track of the car, 59.8 inches in the front, 60.6 inches in the rear. I took the average of these to just simplify it. Uh, and so that's going to give us 1530 millimeters. Uh, and then we're going to be looking at the CG height, 18.1 inches or 460 millimeters. Now this is a pretty low CG, so cars with higher CGs will see a more dramatic effect. Now, looking at this first example, what we have is a car, a Subaru BRZ, going around a corner at 1G, 1G lateral grip. So that is pretty significant. Uh, that's pretty much going to be best case scenario that it can hit, you know, 1G uh, cornering on just a flat surface. And so while it's going around this corner, you're going to have load transfer, of course, to the left side. It's making a right turn. And so we're going to try and figure out what's the load transfer to that right side. Now I have a video deriving this equation, so if you don't know where this comes from, I will include a link in the video description and you can see how I get this equation. But it's a very simple equation. The percentage of load transfer to X is equivalent to B, which is half of the track, the distance from the, uh, the end, the track, uh, the center of the wheel, to the center of gravity. And then you have C, uh, you're going to be adding that to B, that's the center of gravity height. And then you have, you're dividing all of that by A, which is the track. So 765 millimeters divided by 460 millimeters all over the track, which is 1530. What does that give us? Well, that gives us a percentage, 80% load transfer uh, going to that left side under that. So if you multiply that 80 by 1254, well, that gives you 1,004 kilograms on one side and 250 kilograms of uh, load on the other side. So that's what your loading is going to look like under 1G cornering with a Subaru BRZ going on around 1G corner with the stock setup. Now what we're going to do is add 25 millimeter spacers and push those wheels out a little bit so we've increased our track by 50 millimeters. So in doing this, we change our math up a little bit here. We've got 790 plus 460 all divided by 1580. What does that give us? 79.1%. So not a dramatic change, uh, less than 1% load transfer overall dis difference that we've got going on here. What does that look like once you multiply it out? 992 and then 262. So 992 kilograms on the left side, split between the two left wheels, 262 kilograms on the right side, split between, between the two right wheels. So if you take 1004 divided by 992, that's about 1.2% more load transfer to the left side under stock conditions. So we'll just write that down, 1.2%. So 1.2% difference in load transfer by using a wider track. Uh, the stock track's gonna have 1.2% more loading. Not very significant, probably something you couldn't even measure if you were to take it out onto a skid pad and do a ton of different tests before and after. Um, and remember, there are gonna be some negative consequences of changing the uh, wheel spacing by changing the offset of the wheels and so that's something you want to take into consideration knowing that the effects will be pretty minimal on load transfer uh, by adding those in. So if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.